Well, hello there, my friends, and welcome to the Texas Urban Homestead. My name is James. Today, I'm going to be giving you a tour of our backyard, starting out as urban homesteaders in Texas. Follow me. So this is our newest addition. This shed was obviously built many, many years ago. This door that we have here, uh, keeping the rabbits in, we actually found right over there. It was just staged up against that wall. So we we're putting it to good use. We're actually planning to use this as a lid for a planter for the Four Seasons Harvest. Now, but right now, it's just keeping these rabbits in. So we just bought these rabbits, these cute little guys. Look at how cute they are. We just gave them some microgreens that we weren't eating and they are eating it up. They love that microgreen. Threw a little bricks in there, a uh, little wood in there so they can run around. I see rabbits, all they do is just sit in cages. That's how we bought them, that's what they told us to do. That just hurts my heart, man. Those things are fast. They run like 40 miles per hour. They're not made to be sitting in a cage. They're made to run, all right? This is our dog, Tano. We went from zero animals, well, technically one, because I'm a dog. Okay, we went from zero animals in this house to three in one week. We got this little puppy named Tano. Hello there, little dummy. Hello there, little dummy. She is the cutest little chow chow. She's our guardian dog for our daughter. And then, the same weekend, we got the rabbits. So there you go, we have three animals. We're starting out. And those rabbits, that's male and female, you already know what's going on in there, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh, it's happening. Follow me. My wife found this fence. This was fence post, just like the fence you see around here. $10 someone was getting rid of it. We scooped it up and we converted it into a compost box. As you can see, it's pretty awesome. Got all that soil mixed in there. Now we bought earthworms and they were supposed to reproduce, and but when I mix it up, there's not a lot of life in there. Uh, I think we're doing something wrong. I think the worms are dead, and I'm very sad about that. We're gonna probably have to talk to the guy that sold us them and see what we did wrong. But we got our compost started. We're mixing in dry leaves, twigs, and food. And the purpose for that is we need all that organic material, fertilizer, real natural fertilizer. Why? Because our principles are no chemicals, zero chemicals, very little inputs on this urban homestead. Okay, uh, there's our daughter. So we got her uh, about 15 months ago. My wife actually produced her in the bathtub. Can you believe that? Not in a bathtub, in a pool. Pretty cool stuff. And now she is in the fireplace. Hopefully she doesn't get burned. <laughs> so the bricks you see here, uh, these are bricks that were just laying around the house. I think they're bricks that went into the house. And so we grabbed them all and then we made a little raised bed planter box. I don't know how this is gonna work because the fence is here, but the sun goes uh, that way to that way. So I think these will get plenty of sunlight. We just threw some branches in there to start it off. Uh, we still need to buy soil. We're looking for the proper soil to buy. Uh, we haven't got to it yet, but we will. This is our dog run. Um, I'm thinking about maybe putting a pig in here at some point or chickens. Uh, but this is very, very useful. I'm super happy to have this. This house is not very big, but this backyard makes up for it uh, because there's just so much potential in this backyard. The amount of food that we can produce per square uh, yard or foot in this in this place is pretty awesome. So, we also made a little fireplace because we got to have that romance, you know what I'm saying? Got a little fireplace in which our daughter is um, eating ashes. I think that's good for you. It has potassium, my wife said. So we're gonna put that in the compost if she doesn't eat it all. So, don't call CPS on us. So this is another raised bed planter we made. It's just, um, you know, just scrap wood that we found for 10 bucks again. Uh, we just threw it together. The weather's gonna beat the crap out of this, so we're probably gonna have to reinforce it. This is kinda, um, not done as well but this is the concept we want to make a bunch of these in order to have that and that's what i was talking about that door um in the winter time apparently because the four seasons harvest book written by elliot coleman apparently you can make a little greenhouse effect you just got to protect from the wind put glass on top of something like that 
And so we're going to custom make something just for that, to put that door on top. The door has the hinges and everything. We can pull it up and get our fresh greens in the winter. Super, super excited about that. So that's on the uh, docket. Now, what am I going to do for a door for the rabbit house? This is where the magic happens. The garage, two car garage, a lot bigger than it was in Hawaii, if you know what I'm saying. So I made a door because I worked at Shoji Doors Hawaii and I learned how to make doors. So this is just chicken wire um, and then just regular lumber. And this is a sliding door. There's a sliding panel in that shed in which I'm gonna hang that on pretty soon. So that'll be the door for the rabbit shed. It's gonna be super cool. And then I got a bunch of scrap wood. I actually got this wood for my job. It's so heavy, it broke off the freaking uh, shelving that I made. So I'm very disappointed about that. I'm not very energized about fixing that. But you know what? Urban homesteaders starting off newbies. What do you expect? There's gonna be failures and struggles along the way. We got some more hay for the rabbits to feed them once they run out of rabbit hay. We're only feeding the rabbits natural greens, basically natural um, food, grass, hay and then veggies that we ourselves eat. So same thing with the dog. The dog only eats human food. Every animal that we have eats real food that they make drink. My dog and the oxygen You're a good doggy! You're a good doggy! You're a good doggy and I love you! I love you! Yes! 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 So that's just a little brief tour of our starting route in our urban homestead. Like I said, we're renting. We're probably going to be here one to two years. We have a one year lease. But depending on uh, how much money we save or don't save, we might be here another year, which is perfectly fine. I want to show the world how much food we can get out of this backyard. So far, we have gotten zero food. Zero food, okay? So you see the beginnings. Eventually, we want to get chickens, maybe a pig, and other stuff. So, with all that said and done, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video!